Welcome to battle number seven of week number two of the FNF Orberg Gate Draft League preseason. This battle is going to be pitting Fire Warrior 82, which is the Draco Warriors, versus Z Quakes, which is Smiley. As a reminder, the Mega Pokemon, sorry, the Z Pokemon available in this battle is Charmeleon with any Z privilege. There are no other Z Pokemon in this battle. This is going to be pretty interesting considering that Corsola will have some good roll, uh, good utility in setting up rocks perhaps and switching out with Regenerator being able to recover quite a few HP. The Pokemon on, on the Draco Warriors do look like they can handle Corsola to an extent, but Corsola can also hit back pretty hard and pivot out to restore any of its HP. Uh, Tangela will also be a really big force to be reckoned with, forming a nice regenerator core with Corsola and being able to deal nice damage, uh, have some utility with Sleep Powder and Leech Seed, and also just completely wall on the defensive side. It's gonna have to be hit on the physical, uh, sorry, on the special side to be taken down. It does look like Mudzill can be a uh, pretty decent Pokemon in this, even though Corsola can threaten it as well as Tangela. It does good in the matchup versus the rest of the Pokemon on Z-Quig's team. In taking down Corsola and uh, Tangela, it looks like maybe Scraggy and Charmeleon could work together to try and get that done. But I do think that Tangela is going to be a really hard Pokemon to take down in this. Munchlax also looking like another Pokemon that can be hard to take down, especially on the special side. So both sides do have some Pokemon that will be pretty tough to take down, and some pretty vital Pokemon, so let's see how this plays out, and we'll begin. Alright, so we start with Colt the Mudbray, I'm assuming to set up some Stealth Rock right away. Versus Corsola, also possibly to set up some Stealth Rock. Corsola, of course, has the upper hand with Scald, but Colts, uh, but is actually going to switch into Tangela, and Colts goes for the Stealth Rock. Now up on Z Quig side of the field. In comes Torch, the Charmeleon, and Tangela is going to go for a Leech Seed. With Leech Seed, Torch is going to lose 12% HP each turn. This is a good opportunity to bring back Corsola. And indeed, Corsola is the one who comes in getting hurt by those Stealth Rocks, but the Leech Seed will be able to restore it a little bit. Flamethrower is going to hit, not doing a lot of damage. Quad resisted by Corsola. And Corsola is back up to 93% now. z -Quigs can use this moment to set up some Stealth Rock of his own. Smug Leaf, the, the Servine is going to come out. And actually Scald is what Corsola decides to use instead of Stealth Rock. That's Scald inflicting Burn on Smugleaf, who's now at 88%, but Leap Storm can add up. Grimer is going to come in to try and wall that Leap Storm. It is nice and specially defensive. Yeah, Leap Storm only doing about 17% to Smugleaf. And now Grimer can go for a Poison Jab. Smugleaf not going to want to stick around for that one. I do think we'll see Mudbray perhaps come in to take that Poison Jab and get a Stamina Boost. Indeed, Colts comes in and the Gunk Shot is going to hit, dealing only 23% and poisoning Colts. The Stamina does activate. That is a lucky poison because the Stamina will contribute to its defensiveness. But with that poison, it's almost like the Stamina's offset. But Colts is going to stay in and go for the Earthquake as well as Grimer staying in. And the score is now 6-5. Colts, however, is at 50% HP, more or less, with 53%. And Corsola comes in. Earthquake can do big damage to Corsola, but Corsola can go for the Scald. Colts is going to switch out, though, into Smugleaf, and Corsola is going to go for a switch as well into Tangela. Smugleaf hurt by its burn, and Tangela now has a little bit of an upper hand. Charmeleon's going to come in with 76% HP, and Tangela goes for the Protect, but it's not going to work. Charmeleon now has 
a good little advantage state here, but Corsola is going to come right in. Uh, Charmeleon might predict that now. We'll see if he predicts it. Uh, no, he goes for the flamethrower actually to hit Tangela, but Corsola is safe from that flamethrower. We could see Servine come in again. Indeed, we do. Servine is now here, and Corsola is going to set up Stealth Rocks of its own. Stealth Rock is now on both sides of the field. Corsola is in trouble, though, as well as the rest of uh, Z-Quig's team, due to the fact that Leaf Storm adds up quickly. And indeed, Leaf Storm is going to hit, doing 21%. It is resisted, and uh, Tangela can now do some stuff back, but one more Leaf Storm will bring Servine to really, really big levels. Charmeleon actually is going to be the one to come out, though. Torsion Chameleon now at 51% HP. The Leech Seed misses. And Corsola is back. Corsola being that answer to Charmeleon. Rock Slide now hitting, doing more than a flamethrower would, but still not a lot. And Servine's back at 51% as well. Will Corsola predict this switch? It looks like Power Gem is going to hit, dealing about 12%, so the switch, I think, was predicted. Smug Leaf now down to a third of its HP. And Tangela is going to come in yet again. Due to that regenerator, Corsola and Tangela are able to keep switching in and in to those rocks. And the Leaf Storm is going to deal 21%. Smug Leaf is now down to 27% health. It's not going to be able to hang on much longer, but it does switch out into C for the Voltorb. And a Giga Drain does decent damage to Voltorb, 48%, while also restoring quite a bit. Tangela is now at 88%, and is going to go for a Scout to see what Voltorb decides to do. Looks like Voltorb goes for the Explosion, and it looks like Protect blocks that Explosion, and the score is 5-5. I'm not sure how much Explosion would have done, considering Voltorb's attack is pretty low and Tangela has very massive defense, but that was a good move by Zquig scouting out. Chowder, the Munchlax, is now out with Leech Seed on it, um, and it goes for the Toxic on Tangela. It's definitely something Tangela does not want to be inflicted with, but it can switch in and out to reset that Toxic timer. But Charmeleon is going to be the next one to come in, down to 26% due to the rocks. And a Giga Drain, even resisted, is going to take down Torch, and it goes down. The score is now 4-5. Tangela standing strong is at 89% now. Colin, with two L's, is going to come in the Scraggy. And a knockoff is going to hit Tangela, removing its Eviolite. That is not good news for Tangela, as it does want to keep that Eviolite intact. Leech Seed is now up. So it looks like Tangela is toxic and has its Eviolite removed. It still does have Regenerator, so it can pivot out and regain some more HP. But Tangela is definitely not going to be the bulky Pokemon it once was with that Eviolite. However, Tangela does have Synthesis which allows it to go back up to 82%, but that Toxic is adding up. Even with Leech Seed, Tangela is only at two-thirds with the Toxic now. Tangela is switching out into Chargebug to take that predicted Drain Punch. Oh, it's actually Zen Headbutt that Colin decides to use. The Leech Seed is going to restore Chargebug a little bit, and now Chargebug is free to go for a Volt Switch or a Wild Charge. Mudbray is going to come in. And indeed, Wild Charge is the move that Charge Bug used. It's going to be blocked, but Colt is poisoned and it's regular poison, so it hits pretty hard right off the bat. The Rock Slide's going to do decent damage 27% to Charge Bug. It's now under 50% HP. And Charge Bug goes for the X Scissor, bringing Colts down. Its stamina activates, but because of the poison, it doesn't seem to really matter that much. Colts is only at 2% now. 
charge bug. Not going to want to get hit by another rock slide, though. So Corsola is going to be the one to come in to Colts. And Colts goes for a rest. Nice. That poison is now gone, and Colts is at full HP. It will have to take some time to wake up, but uh, it's nice. It's better than uh, staying at low HP with that poison. Corsola going for the power gem, trying to predict the switch. And Trumbeak is going to be the next one to come in. Not sure what Trumbeak could really do in this scenario. Maybe going for a Whirlwind? Um, but it doesn't want to get hit by Rock Slide, and Colts does uh, wake up next turn. And indeed, it is awake. And a Rock Slide's going to hit Trumbeak, taking it down. I think Tangle is going to have to be the answer to Colts with Giga Drain. But Charge Bug is the one to come in. And Charge Bug switches to Tangela. And an Earthquake's not going to do that much damage. I'm not sure why z Quick didn't send out Tangela like, just to begin with instead of sending in Charge Bug. But it looks like Munchlax is going to be the one to take on Tangela instead of Mudbray. That Mudbray is so bulky, wow. Leech Seed is going to be good for Tangela, absorbing some health from that high HP Munchlax. But who knows, Munchlax could also have rest, possibly. And Corsola is going to come in to Munchlax. Looks like Rock Tomb is the move that Munchlax used. Reducing Corsola's speed and doing a little damage. Leech Seed is going to restore Corsola quite a bit. That high HP of Munchlax being really good for that HP restoration. Skull brings Munchlax down to 29%. Does it have rest though? That's the big question. Uh, it does look like Toxic is going to inflict Corsola with some poison. So both of the regenerators on z team are poisoned now. And Scraggy comes in to take on Corsola. The Drain Punch will be pretty valuable. And Power Gem not going to do a lot of damage to Scraggy. The big question is when does Larvesta come in? It has to come into Rocks, which means it's going to take 50% when it does. Tangela is going to be the one to come in to take whatever Colin throws at it. It's going to be a Drain Punch due to that Evil Light being lost. It does quite a bit of damage. Another Drain Punch is going to bring Tangela down. With that toxic damage, it will compound. And Tangela is going to go for a Giga Drain, bringing Colin down to 52%. But that Giga Drain is not going to be able to do uh, enough, I think, to Colin to take down um, Colin. So Corsola comes in, but a Drain Punch could be very dangerous here, restoring a lot of HP and doing damage in the process. And indeed, Drain Punch is what he uses, going back up to near full health. Corsola, meanwhile, at 18% due to the Toxic. And Tangela is going to come in. Tangela is uh, restoring some health with that Regenerator, but Drain Punch is doing quite a bit of damage. It looks like Drain Punch still has 11 PP, so I'm not sure if Colin, uh, sorry, if Zquix is going to try to uh, stall out this Drain Punch. Zen Headbutt, though, doing some damage. Will it flinch? Tangela does not flinch and instead goes for the Synthesis. Tangela just trying to hang on and survive. Zen Headbutt hits again, though. And this time Tangela flinches. Now at 27%, Tangela is going to have to switch out if it wants to survive. And indeed, it switches out to Charge Bug, who goes down to the Stealth Rocks. Looks like Scraggy is giving z Quigs a lot of trouble. And another Zen Headbutt hits, doing not that much damage, but will it flinch? 
It does not flinch, and Tangela goes for the Leech Seed. This could be a good segue into bringing uh, Larvesta out, restoring a little HP from the Leech Seed after Stealth Rock is factored in, while Tangela can um, regenerate. It looks like uh, Zen Headbutt's going to bring Tangela down to 23%. Tangela does flinch this time. Will the Toxic Damage take it out? Toxic damage did not add up enough to take it out, but Tangela's going to have to switch out if it wants to survive. And indeed it does, into Larvesta. Larvesta is going to take massive damage from that Stealth Rock. The Drain Punch is not going to do a lot to call in. Will it burn from the Flame Body? Uh, it does not burn, and Larvesta is now at 41%. And that is... Uh, Colin's cue to switch out, and in comes Mudbray at 84%. Flare Blitz is going to hit extremely hard, taking Colin, uh, sorry, Colts down to 12%. Larvesta at 9% from the recoil, and another Flare Blitz takes down Colts while Larvesta stays alive at 4%. The big uh, question, though, is going to be who takes down Colin the Scraggy. Munchlax is going to come in at 4% due to that stealth rock and larvesta is going to go for a wild charge taking down munchlax it hangs on at two percent score is now two three it looks like larvesta has been able to help turn it around but scraggy is still alive and that seems to be the main problem pokemon for z quigs smug leaf comes in and a flare blitz is going to take down smug leaf but larvesta goes down in the process due to that recoil damage and the final two Pokemon are Corsola and Tangela, that regenerator core that z has been using. Corsola is going to be the first one to come out. And Colin comes out at 68%. Will z be able to take down Colin, or will Colin's Drain Punch be enough to take down z -Quakes? Tangela is going to switch in, taking the Drain Punch, and it goes down to 22%. Tangela won't be able to survive another Drain Punch at this HP. A switch into Corsola will mean... Ooh, but Zen Headbutt hits. Will it flinch? That's the big question. It does flinch, and Tangela is going to go down to the poison damage because of that flinch. If it didn't flinch, Tangela might have been able to go for a Synthesis or a Leech Seed, but that flinch really hurt Tangela, and this might be the game. Corsola is going to come out. And the Drain Punch is going to take down Corsola, and that is a 1-0 victory for Draco Warriors, Fire Warrior 82's team over z team, which is Smiley. Looks like uh, Scraggy was really hard to deal with, a really good Pokemon, being able to knock off Eviolites and then restore massive HP with Drain Punch. Um, Tangela was just having a really hard time taking it down, as well as Corsola, that main core that z was using. Um, Larvesta looks like it was really able to turn around, but I think it was smart for Fire Warrior 82 to send in uh, Servine to make Larvesta kill itself with Recoil instead of sending in uh, Scraggy. If Flare Blitz hit Scraggy, that would have done massive damage, and then maybe Seaquigs would have been able to win after all. So, yeah, really intense battle, really good battle, very close. 1 0 victory for Draco Warriors. This is Noel from My Cornet, and I'll see you for the last battle of week two coming up.